I'm just going to do a little video on how to wash your cloth nappies. Get all the innards out of the covers. And if you do cloth wipes as well, put them in as well. But if not, if you use disposable wipes, when you put the poo down the toilet, put the disposable wipes in the bin. If you've got any Velcro edges like that, just make sure they're stuck down so you don't get all the fluff stuck in them. And some people soak the cloth nappies, but you don't need to. It's time consuming and not necessary. But I do do like a rinse cycle first. Um, just because I think it'll wash all any excess poo or wee off. And you don't want poo and wee merging with your wash powder because that would be horrible. I'm not going to turn it on because I've already done a rinse cycle. But when you've done a rinse cycle... Just put it on synthetics. You don't you don't need to do 90 degrees. Do 60 degrees. You don't have to, but I do a pre-wash because I like to have a bit a bit of an extra clean. Um and I put I put two of these in my wash powder this thing. It's up to you how much wash powder you use because it depends how big your drum is and how many wash nappies you've got in it. But I think that's sufficient. But don't use too little wash powder because obviously you've got your baby's poo and wee on. Um, don't you? I can't remember if I already said this, but don't use um, fabric softener because that affects the absorbency of your nappies. So you just turn it on, and that's it. And when it comes out, you can peg them on the washing line, or put them in the tumble dryer, or put them on the clothes horse by the radiator. It's as simple as that, and it's only a couple. Oh, it's starting, and it's only a couple more washes a week. So I hope that's useful. I've had to rush it because this is the second time I've tried to film this. The toddler kept coming in and causing mayhem. So I hope that's useful. So it's 